Logan Paul is a really good athlete, an enormous man. Right. If it was an MMA fight, I would pick Logan Paul. There's a video of Logan Paul wrestling with Paulo Costa. It's a real live wrestling, live wrestling sparring session where he is exhibiting real skill. He knows how to scramble. He's got real wrestling skill. I think he wrestled in college as well. Oh, did he? Okay. No. Backyard brawl with no gloves on. Yeah. Can Conor McGregor. Says- Boxing, I would win. I would win. I'd, I'd beat Connor in boxing. Okay, here's a good one. Joe Rogan. Implode. Joe I, Rogan. Ooh, I fucked Joe Rogan up. Yeah! <laughs> Clip it! Clip it! Clip it! it. Clip it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, more. are you friends with him? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Indeed, Logan Paul and Israel Adesanya have been caught in a sparring session, leaving their followers astounded. Here's what happened. Logan Paul has consistently held UFC fighters in high esteem, fully aware that his weight division is filled with elite competitors. She expressed that his brother has carved a promising path in wrestling, however she anticipates that it may take some time before his startup gains traction. Regardless, Jay confidently asserted, wait until the statistics speak for themselves as to why I'm here, performing in front of 20,000 spectators. But first, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Just need something that could replenish me. Something that could, what's the word? Something that could hydrate me. Something that could fuel me in times of distress. I believe you're set to be the most prominent WWE star in a decade or two. Consequently, Logan Paul decided to undertake training with Israel Adesanya and Alexander Volkanovsky, which provided him with a quick and intensive tutorial in MMA grappling. This development follows shortly after Logan's brother, Jake, publicly challenged Conor McGregor. Jake declared, Listen, Connor, I could defeat you easily. Your boxing skills can't match mine. I'm going to do to Nate Diaz what you couldn't. Knock him out. You'll be there with your struggling beer venture, downing drinks, and realizing the path you chose. You're going to reflect, I never imagined anyone would surpass my achievements or become a bigger name in this sport. I thought I would always remain the greatest. However, you can't live a life of frivolous, partying, and drug use and still be the world's greatest fighter. You chose the wrong path. What happened this camp that you're like so ripped so early? Therapy, bro. No fucking yeah. way. Fuck! <laughs> this comes in the wake of Logan asserting he could triumph over Connor in a boxing match. In boxing, I'd win. If it were in a street fight, I'd have to concede to him. Logan noted, Regarding Logan's sparring session with Israel, fans are still uncertain about his potential future in the UFC. One follower took to Twitter suggesting, Perhaps he can triumph if the fights are staged. Another supporter commented, A highly unexpected loss for Volk, a loss for Izzy, a frequent occurrence for the dead body producer. Some were unenthusiastic about Logan exploring different fighting techniques. One disgruntled fan tweeted, No chance. I'm not interested in seeing Logan trying his hands at jiu-jitsu. It's frustrating. Meanwhile, others are in awe of Logan's physical form as seen in the recent sparring video. Good to be you though. Life is good though. Life's very good. You can't complain. No, no, no. It's good to be busy. A fan tweeted, Has Logan been taking half the supplements from Liver King? He looks impressively ripped. Logan Paul, however, is thrilled at the prospect of returning to WWE action. I'm itching to get back into the ring. He admitted, Now that I've got cable here in Puerto Rico, I've been catching up with Monday Night Raw, Friday Night Smackdown, and all the big events. I'm never like whining about being busy. Slap me in the face. Being busy is a blessing. And I, I'm, I'm very busy. Uh, at the end of the day, I have no energy, which is how I like it. Like when I die, morbid, but yes. I want to feel exhausted. WWE personality Sam Roberts believes that Logan is ideally situated to make significant strides within the WWE. Sam remarked, Logan Paul is now in a place where he's had major bouts, he's demonstrated his capabilities. Logan Paul needs to perform at an elite level to justify the investment being made in him. And how does he achieve that? Everything I can, I gave it my all, I have absolutely no energy. Die. Wrestling? Yeah. Dude, I have no idea. <laughs> I, I, I seriously don't know how I got thrown into this world and it ended up really liking it. By winning the Money in the Bank briefcase at this pay-per-view event, Joe Rogan also took a moment to weigh in on Logan's wrestling prowess. Logan is also exploring other faucets of the combat sports world, especially focusing on its economic aspects. He shared, For the first time, I'm viewing things from a consumer's perspective. As a YouTuber, I thrive because I understood what people sought out and what made a video engaging and maintaining audience interest. Check it out. 
today's a big day working with the legend himself Shawn michaels masterclass now as a wwe fan i can appreciate how a performance feels from my viewpoint and how it translates on tv i believe the perspective coupled with my recent three month break from the sport will usher in a truly exciting period in wwe over the next few years i'm really eager to return logan has previously displayed some wrestling skills when he sparred with ufc veteran paulo costa Some fans, having witnessed his sparring with Israel Adesanya, believe he might have a future in MMA. That's why I do it. I feel like I am in a unique position where I can create memories that last a lifetime for viewers, and that's significant. That feels cool. One fan tweeted, People tend to forget that he was a decent wrestler in high school. His skills is evident in his drills. Another fan commented, Logan looked competent. At one point, we might have had the chance to see how Logan measured up against a former UFC veteran as he claims he was slated to fight Nate Diaz at one point. Logan Paul is a really good athlete, an enormous man. Right. If it was an MMA fight, I would pick Logan Paul. There's a video of Logan Paul wrestling with Paulo Costa. It's a real live wrestling, live wrestling sparring session where he is exhibiting real skill. He knows how to scramble. He's got real wrestling skill. I think he wrestled in college as well. Oh, did he? Okay. <laughs> I, I have no idea what's going on. I think wrestling in high school and like doing stunts sure. my whole life and having a really high pain tolerance and an energy towards live entertainment helps and I, i'm good with pressure like for some reason you know knock on wood i haven't i haven't like flubbed really right. yet like when i go to do those springboards and i look down i'm always afraid my, my feet are gonna not be in the right spot or i'm gonna slip and i'm sure it'll happen but it hasn't happened yet i genuinely believe he has potential do you like our content do not stop being subscribed to our youtube channel And if you are not, I invite you to subscribe and also leave a like to enjoy more content similar to this. See you in the next video. I feel, I feel very grateful, especially because I have like something I'm good at now. I have something I'm really good at. As a YouTuber or a content creator, that, that isn't oh, the type I was anyways, like the obnoxious vlogger. That's not always respected by everyone. Why, why, why would it? You're just, your goal is just to get as many clicks as possible. Mm -hmm. Where's the nobility in that? But as a wrestler, you're willing to put it all on the line live in front of 60,000 people for their entertainment to make sure that their money is being spent in a good way, that's cool. That's, that's commendable, I think. So I, I, I still, I have, not found, I have not found what I am in the WWE yet. And let me tell you why. I feel like, okay, go ahead. No, your, your instincts are correct. I'm a, I'm a heel, bro. Yes. I'm a heel. People want to boo you. They want to boo me. Yes. And guess what? I kind of want to be booed now. But the issue is, there are a handful of people, it depends where we're at in the United States, but I'd say between 10 and 40% of the audience who like me from things I do outside the WWE. But when I go up there and I'm full heel and I'm being a and 40% of the people who do like me are like, wait, what the hell, bro? Like, uh, what are you, what are you doing, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Logan.